doing, but uh, appreciate that shot, Deborah. Uh, 50 degrees is where we're at right now. We've got 50s and 60s down to the south of us. They will stay there. The cold air already starting to wrap in on the back side of the system that we're expecting, and that is where the rain is right now. You can see there is or was some snow on the northern sections of that. By the time it gets here, yes, there will be some flakes mixed in, but most of what we're looking at is going to be liquid and there's going to be quite a bit of it. A couple scattered showers during the evening, but the widespread stuff comes in here during the overnight and really through the entire day tomorrow. If we see an appreciable break, it looks like it's going to happen. <clears throat> excuse me, after this low moves north as we get into the afternoon, uh, maybe a few hours where we actually get that rain to come to an end, but there's going to be a second push of moisture as we head towards the late afternoon, early evening, and that's just going to add to totals. Colder air will start wrapping in in the evening, so if we see some flakes, most likely those are going to be on the second half of tomorrow. A lot of that is not going to stick, but in some cases on the grass, maybe on the mailbox, you could be seeing at least some minor accumulations. Now this is what we expect is going to fall in the form of snow. Again, not all of it, if any, is going to stick, but about three or four tenths across most of the metro area. Lowest totals will be down here in the south zone, just barely anything at all. But as you get further north, uh, especially up into Genesee County, where you could be seeing some of those flakes tonight, could get close to an inch, uh, maybe some of that sitting on the grass as uh, we get through the day on Saturday. North zone, about five tenths, maybe upwards of an inch. But again, that's what's going to fall. A lot of that will melt, and the stuff that does stick will likely not stick on the pavement. Thank goodness. 37 tonight for the overnight low. Rain on the increase. Highs tomorrow are going to be at 43 degrees, so we'll be warm enough to keep most of that liquid. The temperature we're worried about, though, is Sunday morning because when we get up, you see those morning lows are going to be in the mid 20s. So if there's standing water left around from Saturday, there definitely could be some icy spots on Sunday morning before we finally warm up next week.